Ladies and gentlemen, this resume match. Sampras leads five on second set and one set to love. Time. Change balls, please. Balls in. Adams to serve. Fly, please. Thank you. Sampras leads five games to two, second set, and by one set to lock. Law 15. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen forty. Oh. 
30, 40. Juice. Add one of samples. Game second set, Sampras, six games to two. Sampras leads, two sets to one. Lot 15. And at two sets down, it really is important for Chuck Adams to get this opening game of the third set. It's a super rally. Now that really was a good rally. Adam stayed at the net all the time. He didn't flinch, didn't go backwards. A very good angle. Last uh, angle volley. He had all the pressure on him from the fierce Sampras's uh, grand strokes. He did well. 30-15. Yes, the umpire, Mr. Ted Watts, overruling immediately. Good umpiring from Ted Watts. No dispute from either player, or for, certainly from, from Chuck Adams, anyway. So difficult playing against someone like Sampras of the class of him. Anything slightly short on the serve, he hits with tremendous power, then puts you under immediate pressure, if, particularly if you stay back. Break point. Sampras leads two sets to lock. 
He really is a class act, Pete Sampras, in everything he does, both uh, off court and off on court. Wonderful grand strokes, hits the ball so smoothly, normally in the middle of the racket. Chuck Adams is in trouble every time he stays back. Two-handed backhand normally, there he's forced to play one hand and then the whip cross-court forehand from Pete Sampras hit as smoothly as ever. Still only 22 years of age, six foot one, we know what is seeded and what his world ranking is. Australian won this year, 94 in January. The French, often uh, people say that you cannot transfer from surface to surface and he had a little trouble on the clay in the French. Wimbledon, well, we know that, don't we? He won last year and uh, probably will win this year. And the US won way back in 1990 as well as in 93. Easily the world's best player. New balls, serving with the break. One love. Lot 15. Well, this next standing shot from uh, Chuck Adams, that's the type of shot he has to play just to get a point against Sampras. And when Sampras serves, it's very difficult for Chuck Adams to know where he's going to serve. It's a heavily disguised serve. can go very wide on the slice or straight flat down the middle. Very natural style Sampras has, sort of style that he would have always had from very, very young. Game Sampras. <laughs> Sampras leads two games to run. So Chuck Adams, two sets down and two love down. Difficult to know what he has to do. Obviously, he has to get a lot of first serves and get into the net as quick as he can, although he does like to serve and stay back. He has major problems. Love to.
Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this. Delightful to watch, isn't it? Puts uh, added spin on the ball at the last moment just so it dies dead on the ground. Great shot. 30 15. Yes, good shot. Very much like Sampras, generating a lot of power off the uh, ground strokes. Game Adams. <laughs> Sampras leads two games to one, third set, by two sets to one. Well, Pete Sampras comfortably in the lead here, two sets and 2-1 with a break. I was talking about his serve. It really is one of the most fluent and rhythmical serves in the game today. It doesn't really take much energy out of him. Everything is in perfect timing and in harmony. Jumps off the ground like most of the top players do. Used to be the foot fault rule that says you could not jump off the ground at all and sort of project yourself into the net. But now the foot foot rule, many years, has been abolished on that one, and therefore you can jump and you can go real forward into the net. Sampras uh, serves and volleys most of the time, but uh, Chuck Adams tends to serve and stay back, which means he doesn't sort of project himself into the net quite so much because he knows he's got to stay back. The left... Uh, Nice, seats, please. nice bending, because all the power comes from the thighs of the serve and lands on his left leg. Most of the top players land on the left leg. 2-1. 15 long. He always seems to have so much time to do whatever he likes. seems to be in the right place at the right time. Sampras staying where he was. He normally walks if he thinks it is an ace, so perhaps he was a little doubtful on that one. Thirty-five. <laughs> 
an, un an unusual bad bounce. Sampras all ready to hit a nice backhand and up it jumps. <laughs> Fifteen. And Adams knows he's got to hit his second serves hard, unless if he doesn't, um, Pete Sampras is going to generate so much pace of it. So a good game from Chuck Adams, who's uh, a good young player, ranked 72 in the uh, in the world, former U.S. junior champion, been around a few years, 23 years of age, just about a nice height. There's so many players much taller than six foot, but it's still useful to have that extra height. Fairly inexperienced. You see, he's played the U.S. Open. Uh, for a number of years, 1990, 91, 1993. Australian a couple of years and the French on the old clay. Lost in the first round both times and played here for the first time last year. It's, hits the ball fairly hard from the baseline. Beat Andrew Foster Tire. from Britain in the second round in uh, three straight sets. So, so far hasn't lost a set before he played Sampras, but he's uh, really up against it this afternoon. Sampras with a break. Just waiting for the crowd to settle down. Serving 3-2. 15 long. Yes, good shot. A little bit of his own medicine here. Nice to get one over Sampras, isn't it? Doesn't often happen. Again, the strong second serve sets it all up. Makes volleying so much easier when you've got a serve like Sampras. Superb serving from Sampras. Something that we've come to expect from the world's number one player.
Oh, just out. Wow, that would have been a beautiful shot. It would have been in. In tennis, we, we say that a player has got wonderful hands, and Sampras has got that. Very natural hands, able to uh, quickly disguise his, his shot at the last minute. that crept back in but obviously not it was almost like the ball was floating in the air It's not as if the serve was that bad. It just Sampras makes everything look so easy. Game Adams. Sampras leads four games to three, third set. Five two sets to one. Well, one keeps on talking about how good Sampras is and how stylish, and he really is a wonderful player to watch. And young players can learn so much from uh, watching Sampras. His movements are very stylish and very compact, never wastes anything. There's a block return of serve, always on the toes on the balls of his feet. There's a top spin drive. Suddenly he can turn to a slice. There's the slice, that's the one down the line that he thought was just in, but it was just called out. So, lovely slow motion of uh, Sampras. Time. He really does look after himself. Justin Gullickson, his coach, has been with him for several years now. And a coach is not just a technical coach. In fact, that's the last thing they are, really. They're really guides and mentors and friends and companions. Serving 4-3. Yes, good return to serve. Forcing the half volley. Oh, 
Oh, that's a great shot. A really good shot. This is probably the best shot that Chuck Adams has hit in this match. Two-handed backhand. Super shot down the line. Unfortunately, he's got to do that three or four times in a, in a game to break Sampras' serve. Game Santos. Sampras leads five games to three, third set. I'm sure there'll be lots of videotape teaching lessons of uh, Pete Sampras because his style is very precise, very easy to copy his style. So Adams, 3-5. Chuck Adams really hasn't served and volleyed hardly at all in this match. Much prefers the baseline. 30-15. Fourteen thirty. Difficult to uh, pass Pete Sampras. He comes in on such difficult uh, balls, keeps them very low. Juice. It's unusual for an American to serve and stay back so much. Normally, because they've been brought up on cement courts, they often like to serve and volley more than uh, Chuck Adams has done this afternoon.
Cáceres. Well, once again, Chuck Adams, as I've been saying, never ventures to the net at all, hardly, in this match. It's amazing why he doesn't come in more. He's losing by staying on the baseline, yet he's not changing his tactics. Just out. Sampras sneaking into the net, which was a, a very, very good thing to do at exactly the right time. He's always in control of uh, most things, Pete Sampras, and that volley into the net and the unforced error gives him a match point. Juice. Well, again, Sampras making it look so easy because it was quite a good serve into the body. His second match point. Really good mm -hmm. serve. I like the way Sampras walks immediately if the ball is an ace. Sampras leads five games to four, third set, and by two sets to lock. That's a good game from Chuck Adams. Doesn't uh, have many games for all his work that he's had to do this afternoon and also yesterday because um, they, it was a match that was postponed over, overnight because of the rain. And I don't know how he feels really. It'd be interesting to ask him afterwards why he didn't come to the net more. I suppose its natural game is to stay on the baseline, but when you're playing against someone like Pete Sampras that has got such uh, wonderful grand strokes, hit so hard, it's just difficult to play from the baseline. Sampras, though, is just such a good player that he can play any style of play. He can play a player who stays on the baseline or serves and volleys. It's just on, um, on clay that he has a little trouble. Um, he has a little trouble in deciding Time. what sort of tactics he's going to use on, on clay. But on grass, he reigns supreme. Well, there's Pete Sampras' girlfriend, Delina. Delina, who uh, follows him around in certain tournaments, not all the tournaments. Pete Sampras' parents very rarely, if ever, come to the tournaments with him. Serving for the match.
second service. Forty long. He had two match points the last game on Chuck Adams' serve. This time he has three more. Thank you. Game set, match Santos. Six one, six two, six four. And a nice comfortable win for Pete Sampras. Three straight sets against Chuck Adams, also from the United States. No trouble at all. Chuck Adams quickly disappears into dress room number two, which is adjacent to this court. Pete Sampras, well satisfied with that match. He now has a day off and perhaps plays Monday, if not Tuesday.